Okay, so I just wanted to start this off with I had a dream last night and I mean I it was about it was about her. So in this dream <clears throat> I was I think I was at home or somebody's house. It was on the couch. Just a regular day, just watching TV, listening to music. And for some reason she was she was back there. I think she came to pick something up or or I don't know why she was there, but she was there. <clears throat> it wasn't like a regular visit, but for some reason she was there. Anyway, um I started massaging her back. I was sitting on the couch and she was standing in front of me and I think I just might have like wrapped my arms around her and I started massaging her back, you know, holding her waist and massaging her lower back. And then she kind of just sat on my lap. And it, she turned around and I still had my pants on, but she just kind of started grabbing <laughs> grabbing my stuff I'm not sure what kind of language I want to use on this yet but anyway she started grabbing it and like biting it through my pants and she stopped and she was like I don't know how you I don't know how you always get me I don't know how you always get me back and then pretty much the dream went off um I woke up to you know I woke up from that and was really just thinking like wow like this is I mean I've always had dreams about her but I normally don't dream about her until I know she's gone so I guess I'm saying that to say like I must really 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 be feeling like she's gone if I'm thinking about her that much and not getting a response and being blocked and whatever so the dream was fun so thank you dream masters <laughs> whatever but also, I just want to continue on. I don't know if I, you know, left out anything from before, but I said that I would touch on someone that we're just going to call the other. So this other was somebody who I met a little while ago. And she's special to me. She actually helped me through one of the situations I was going through with the ex. And we just got close you know everything starts online but we just started talking being really open she was in a situation it wasn't the best for her at the time and we just started talking and helping each other out and sharing stories and you know getting close that way we ended up hanging out a few times and um yeah it got intimate Again, not sure the language or the context I could go with this. I mean, I guess it's mine, but I don't really want to go there yet. At least not sitting here by myself. It's just kind of weird still. But anyway, long story short, um, we never got into a relationship, but we always kept in touch. Um, we st still talk. So... If you remember from earlier, one of the reasons why I posted the picture was because I wanted to make her jealous, but again, not in like a, a serious way, like, because normally all that would happen is we would, if she posts something that I, you know, that makes me upset or makes me jealous or whatever we talk about it, we end up laughing, may mildly, mildly curse each other out whatever no big deal we joke about it and then we say i was jealous you know we whatever so the reason why this is relevant is because me and the ex we basically began to explore what would happen if we weren't going to just be in a straight regular committed relationship we started to explore well mostly she started to explore. She started saying this. She brought it up. I was good with it. 
but she started to talk about what if we brought the other into our situation. Now a little more, let me go back, let me go back, let me go back. So when my ex came around again last year sometime, we were in bed. It's the morning time. She had spent a night. And she used to always say stuff like, why don't you just get a girlfriend, you know, and then, you know, you can have her while I'm not here. And then when I come, you know, then, you know, me and you, it's me and you, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, cool, that's what's up, you know, like, well, before I used to always be, that would hurt my feelings. Like, I'd be sad that she's just like really not trying to be with me, but trying to put me off on somebody else. But saying, hey, when I come, though, like you're mine kind of thing. So. But this particular time, I actually did have somebody else. So I told her straight up, like, yeah, you know, like I am seeing somebody. I am, I do actually like somebody. And um, she was happy. She was basically like it lifted a weight off her shoulder. Like she didn't have to only worry about me and my feelings and how I was, you know, dealing with not being with her. So you know, for that moment, it was good, like, cool, so it moved forward into, you know, this mind, this concept that I was just like, oh, well, they both know about each other, I'm not keeping nobody secret, I can do this, um, moving forward, um, my ex was cool with it, she continuously told me like, hey, blah, 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 whatever. There was one particular time where she was just like, what does she look like? And I was like, oh, shoot, you know, like, am I going to tell her? Like, what do I do? And before I could really respond, she was like, no, never mind. I don't want to know. I know I'm the shit. So it's don't, it don't even matter. So I was like, cool, yeah, you are, blah, blah, blah. Cool, avoided that. But, you know, the other after a while, she didn't want to deal with it no more. She wanted to be only number one, which, you know, I can understand that. She understood I had a serious relationship with my ex. She understood that I really was in love with her. She understood that it would be a lot of work to, you know, get her out of my head or, you know, move ahead. So one particular night, you know, we were, she visited me. My ex was actually out here and um, she had happened to visit me and when she was getting ready to leave, I forgot what happened, but she so somehow my ex ended up texting me while I was with her while she was getting ready to leave. She knew it was her. She was like, whatever. But then she mentioned, what if, you know, she got pregnant? And I was just, maybe I was too honest. I was too real. I was like, well, if she got pregnant, we're keeping it. Like, I want to have a kid with her. You know that. And the other started crying. I felt bad, but it was nothing I could do. She came over a few more times, but the last particular time ended everything. And really, I haven't seen her since. So it's been like over a year now, well, almost a year that I haven't seen her. But, um... You know, she pretty much began telling me stuff like, hey, you know, I'm just too busy. I can't come or, you know, I got something going on. I can't make it. Oh, I'm sick. Can't make it. And like I said, she she had another situation, that situation. Oh, he might find out he's he's catching on. You didn't make me feel special. Your room wasn't cleaned, that kind of stuff, right? And I'm like, wow, like, you got every excuse not to see me now. Whole summer goes by. Now my ex is back. She comes a week after my birthday to hang out. We do our thing. I'm still trying to get the other to come over. She don't come. I'm like, okay, whatever. I miss you, but I guess this is what it is, you know? You can't get here no more. Few months pass, my ex comes back, so we doing cool. You know, it's like building up. Like, okay, like she's came to see me two times now, almost back to back within two months. Still haven't seen the other, which is closer. So I start thinking things was moving better with me and my ex. She comes one last time around Christmas. 
you know, this past Christmas. And it was, again, it was a good feeling. So this particular time, we didn't see each other for, like I said, almost that five and a half months. So you already know the story about that. So in regards to the other, like I said, I posted that because my ex had this idea that we should all just be together, like be in a relationship. I'm like, cool. Like I'm at first, well, at first I wasn't just like straight up cool. I was just like, what the heck are you talking about? But after I thought about it, you know, a few hours, I was like, well, it ain't really that bad. You know, like if she's really saying, you know, we not going to be together and whatever. I can have two. Let's do it. So what happened was when I posted the picture. I thought that, okay, the other is going to see it because we had actually, let me rewind. We had actually talked about what my ex had said. I told her like, yeah, you know, this is what she was saying. You know, at first I was confused, you know, like my little feelings was hurt again. And then I was like, but you know, after a while I was like, I'm not, I'm not even mad. Like, let's do it. And then, you know, I kind of just ran it past her. She was like, y'all both crazy. I ain't with it. But I think she was still a little, little interested, of course. But she just really couldn't grasp what it was. And, of course, she wasn't going to just leave her situation. But I'm like, I'm not telling you to leave your situation. You could always do what you want to do. But, you know, if it was us three, we probably would be more prosperous. You know what I'm saying? That's mad jobs. <laughs> Everybody get money. Whatever. Um, we actually ended that conversation with a, yeah, whatever, bye. That's how we do sometimes so like i said this is all going on and then the next day was a little car accident with the door then the sunday is when you know we went to the movies i, I took my son and, and you know my boy's kid to the movie and um while i was in the movie theater the other had posted an a, something on her story it was an old picture you know i clicked a little quick reactions there was some hard eyes and stuff like that or whatever and then i i don't remember when i posted the picture exactly but i think i had already posted it i think i may have posted it in the movies because i was freaking bored watching it kid movie <sighs> but anyway so yeah so i was like she hasn't seen it yet so whatever she liked my quick reaction and then a few minutes later it showed that she had actually saw the picture so then a little later i text you know hey you know something like that or whatever and i was like we're not talking because i still hadn't talked to her since the day before and um she didn't respond day goes by you already know it's Monday morning. I get the text. I panic about the post from the ex. And um, the week goes by and I still don't get anything back from the other. Now, I'm going through it, so I'm not really tripping. I'm like, you know what? I don't want to talk to nobody. I got to go to work. So I end up telling my coworker about it. She cool. So I end up telling her about it. But... You know, I'm not really sharing them, like not hitting up my boys because they all, you know, they all got this thing where, you know, they, it's almost like a I told you so thing, you know, like they know what's up, which brings me to another point. The ex basically, again, why I was feeling things were getting better, why I was justified in posting a picture of us together in a somewhat intimate moment was because, I mean, she was telling me things like, you know, I don't want the people you love to hate me. Now, why would you care if you don't care about me like that? If you don't love me like that, whatever, that's neither here nor there. But, you know, those are the type of things that she was telling me. So I'm really feeling like, hey, she, she really might be on something with me. She might be really feeling me a lot more 
than before. You know, we really do have a history. And, like, I know it sounds all bad now, but, you know, we've been through a lot together. We talk a lot, you know, a lot of a lot of conversations, a lot of hanging out, a lot of, you know, a lot of stuff. So, anyway. I was definitely going through it that week. Um, like I said, Friday, I pull out my phone and I'm like, well... Nobody's hitting me up no more, so I waited until Saturday to hit up the other. She didn't respond. And I'm like, what the heck? Like, you really not going to say anything? She don't, apparently, she don't know nothing going on, of course. So, I'm like, okay, obviously, she saw the picture. But I'm like, why would you really not talk to me at this time? So, I'm like, okay. I wait. Still no response. I hit her up again. No response. So, I call you know, just to be a jerk, I call, and then I put my phone away, put it in my pocket, I had to do something, and then I didn't hear it buzz or nothing, so a few minutes later, I pull it out, and it said, don't do that, and you know, I was just like, whoa, so after mad text messages, because I knew what I was doing, I don't want y'all to think I'm just, you know, a serial texter, and I'm just wild like that. I knew how to reach her just the same way. Like I would know how to reach my ex too. If I really want her to hit me back, I know what to do. But then again, she blocked me. So, you know, I got to do extra, but I'm not even going to do that. But anyway, reading the text from her saying, don't do that. I really was upset. Like I had to do all, I had to call you for you to actually respond regardless of for whatever reason. And, um, I was like, well, F you then. You know, I really said it though. I don't really curse, but I I text it, so I'm like, "F you then." And then it just went from there. And then I sent a whole lot of more FQs, but she could take it. So I'm like, all of that, you you, you couldn't hit me back, but you hit me back because I called. Blah 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 blah. And then I don't remember exactly what happened, but I hit her up this morning, and I'm like. You know, could you say something? You know, like, what's going on? Things had calmed down. She told me she was busy doing something and she was on vacation with somebody. And I'm like, all right, cool. And, you know, ultimately, like, it just really made me think, like, she really is somebody that, I don't I ain't going to say just down for me, but, you know, she's, she's around still. She's not, like, just going to just not talk to me. She's not going to block me. She get her get upset, you know what I mean, getting her feelings, all that. That's regular. But you know, she's not gonna just not talk to me. So I'm like you know, it really made me think and you know, like I said, like my ex blocked me, but this this woman is still talking to me and it, it really puts me in a position where I'm like, man, like I have told her that I want to be with her, but it was more so under the, you know, um, situation of, well, I can't have my ex, even though I know she's super cool, super pretty, beautiful, amazing, funny, cool, down, but you know, when you, you got love for somebody, you got love for somebody, so it wasn't really about her being second place, but you know, I know my ex longer. We already have history. So, but it just really made me feel like, man, like if we would have met before, we probably, we could at least have something, whether it lasts, who knows, but we could have had something. And I kind of feel like that now, but like I said, she is in a situation. I guess they're thriving and now I'm in this place where I'm like, well, I guess I should just leave you alone for real because I know you're not going to drop that person for me. And I'm just stuck. So, I mean, to be honest, we've been texting today. I really don't even know why it's like we just have this attachment to each other. We just talk. We mostly argue on text, to be honest. We we don't really argue on the phone, but she always says I'm mean, says I'm yelling, but it's like we have a real relationship. We just can't hang out. We just can't see each other. Like, I do feel close to her. 
Um, but yeah, I guess I'm just in a place now where it's like, I am alone. But I guess I got to focus on, you know, other things. I got to make it happen. So I really wasn't planning on this being short. Like I said, it's weird talking to myself. Maybe if I was having a conversation with somebody else or whatever, it'd be a little different. But, um, yeah, I don't know where to go from here when it comes comes to any of it. I mean, she just texted me now from something I wrote her earlier. It's like, you're still here. You won't go away, but the other, but the ex will go away, you know? And I mean, I don't really blame her, but you know, she actually was telling me like, nah, she loves you. She wouldn't do the certain things, that certain things she does. She wouldn't tell you certain things. She wouldn't be coming to see you if she didn't love you. And you know, that's part of the reason. Like I really was believing that. Like I got another woman that I got feelings for telling me that this other woman actually is feeling me like that. Do you know what I mean? But just wasn't true. And I'm not going, I'm not going to completely just downplay it again. I'm not going to take away from my ex. Like I know she has strong feelings, strong feelings for me. She really just wanted me to be better. Like we both agree. Like if I was in a different position, we would be together. She does have feelings for me, but they can't grow. Because I'm not where I need to be. And I'm pretty sure it's a lot of women that feel that way. Like they got a dude they really care for. But they don't see a future with. Because he's just he's just not that, that person that can take care of things. And to be honest, you know, like it's tough for me. It is tough for me. You know, like I didn't finish college. I'm really smart. Like I'm really smart. I don't just say that about myself. People tell me it all the time, um, but it doesn't matter when you don't, it doesn't matter when you don't finish college and get the degree. That's what the degree is for, is to show people that don't know you, that you're good. I can't just go to a job and say, hey, I'm smart. You know, they don't let you just prove it with your words. They, they You can't even qualify for a job unless you have that degree. Well, you, you, you can lie. You can definitely lie, but I'm also not a liar so it's a little tough to get a higher paying job um but anyway the job that i do have you know it makes money but it's not enough to take care of a family and it's not enough to say we good so i mean yeah i just feel like I just thought things would be different this time, but you know, I'm gonna I'm just be cool. Like I'm trying something. I'm doing this little, what I'm going to be calling it a podcast. I don't have a name for it yet. I was thinking about it, but nothing really is sticking. I'm trying to have a publishing company called on par, which basically stands for planet axiom recordings or planet axiom readings. So you know, I haven't really got into my whole Planet Axiom stuff yet. Obviously, one, one episode, one recording. But um, you know, I'm trying to I'm trying to do some stuff. And like I said, um, maybe maybe today I will record maybe like the first chapter of the book that I'm writing, the failure book, the music, you know, relationships book. Still don't have a title for that. So if I do create a title for that, maybe that's what this podcast will be called. So again, I thought I had more to share. But again, we're just going to use these first two episodes to kind of give you a feel for what I'm going through, for what I got going on. And hopefully the story is intriguing enough for whoever hears this 
to want to write in some questions. Again, email address is Deontay.young at yahoo.com. That's D E A N T E dot Y O U N G at yahoo.com. I'm literally recording this while laying in my bed. Um, I'm just chilling right now. Just chilling right now. Just got me and my kid something to eat. Cleaned the kitchen. Came in here and was like, all right, let me let me see what I got. Let me see what I could do by myself. I really do want an audience. I really do want somebody else to rock with me. Also got other ideas for a podcast to have with my friends. But my boys are not into the whole internet and stuff like that. They could talk, but they're not into the whole... They're not into it like the way I'm into it. So, you know, maybe maybe once I get this going and actually, you know, be able to show them something, things will change. But, um, yeah, like I said, if you got questions, you know, some advice for me, hit me up again. Even though I did delete my whole social media profile, like wiped myself clean off the Internet, somehow Facebook did not actually delete even though I did not just click deactivate, I deleted it. But maybe I something happened. <sighs> I randomly put my information back in because of something I signed up for and it went through. So I still have my Facebook, so you can still find me, Deontay Young. Um, also, I did make another Instagram account. Instagrams are completely gone, but I made another one. And that one is... Accept the void. Accept the void. Look that one up. And you should find me. So far, the only three posts are, they're all black and white words. Black and white letterings. Um, so, yeah, hit me up. And, yeah. Hope, hope you hear this. Hope you enjoy it. Let me know what's up.